Yesterday was busy, and today is super busy, but that is in a good way. Hello, YouTubers, this is Anubifier. I wanted to highlight a pair of live streams over on Nubifier 2. If you're not aware, I operate a second YouTube channel that's focused more on things such as streaming live, simulation, and some of the behind the scenes. It's a smaller channel that I use to keep subjects separated. You may be here to see joystick reviews or Star Citizen content. And if the other things that I spoke about are interesting to you, all you need to do is subscribe over on Nubifier 2. Last night, I did my first live stream, Zero to Hero, for the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. It was a little bit messy at the start, but once we got things figured out, it was super easy and tons of fun. Tonight, I'm going to be streaming a second time with my friend Pete. Pete is a car nut and a great friend, and Pete has driven several times, actually very often, at my place, but he isn't what we would call an expert in sim. This is a great contrast with last night's stream, which I invited Kyle over for. Kyle is also a car nut, but he drifts, drags, and races. He also has his own studio and his own sim system, and plays at least three times a week. Kyle and I both made accounts over at Sim Racing GP. We both logged in and associated our Steam and Discord. Once that was done, we could enter qualification matches. It was super that he was over because the matches won't start if you're alone. So being both together and trying to race at the same time actually allowed us to test. It's important for me to talk about what we found out. When both are lobbied into a race, there is a countdown. This timer is when the server will be created, not when the race starts. So searching for it before that time won't help. Once the server is ready, you can search for it, enter the password, enter the lobby, choose the 720 McLaren, and then things begin. You have a five minute practice, a five minute qualifier, and a 10 minute race. This is nice, light, and short, and it lets you rinse repeat over and over again and just put the miles down on the track. As I said, the process took us some time the first time, but it was slick the second time around. Kyle laid down a 129, and my best for that night during the practice was a 130. It's interesting to see how all of the cars behave differently in ACC. The McLaren 720 is super light and powerful, but if you put any gas on it down the corners, the front gets lighter and you start to understeer or plow. This car teaches you how to modulate and control in the corners. It's a lot better to slow down all the way to first, make your hairpin, rather than trying to max it out a bit, making you run wide. It's actually slower. I qualified faster than Kyle, and then we got to a rolling start. Neither of us had done this yet, and it's important to hold your car in the green that you can see in the HUD. The first time, neither of us did this properly, and we were both penalized with a drive through We both did the drive through but then I got hit with a 30-second stop and go for speeding in the pits. I swear I had my pit limiter on, but anyways, Kyle wanted to be a bro, so he came in with me and waited. There's no fun in racing alone. So technically, because of that, he was the winner, despite me actually winning that event. It's always fun to lap, but it's always more fun to race, especially with a friend. Once that race was over, the lobby was still open, so we started again, but eventually that server closed at the end of the second race. It's important then to leave the server and start a new one if you'd like to race again. We went back to Sim Racing GP to see our stats, and now with that race, we're both eligible to win as part of the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. If you want to race me, message me, and please tune in tonight when you see the channel go live over on Nubafire 2. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. It's been a pleasure using the Logitech Direct Drive wheelbase. There's a dedicated review with my thoughts linked up now and at the end. Drive quickly. Of course not. That's just He's a liar. This is crazy. All right. I was promised no bullshit, and this seems. Like I'm going to start in switch. fifth gear. <laughs> That's how to go fast in a race car. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to drive yet? Oh my god, it's like, this is worse this than- This is like half of the freaking game. This it's is like stress. It's like man. Stress. Stress. <clears throat> Get ready for green. I'm ready, I was ready 10 minutes ago. I was in freaking second. <laughs> what, do you try I'll to try very me? hard not to crash into you, okay? <clears throat> Cold tires and cold brakes. And the draft. <laughs> the no draft. There's a draft? 
There has to be a draft. We need a draft down here. It's oh, friggin' hot. I should have brought my little USB fan. Oh no! You know what's bad is I followed your line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was so fixated on the back of your car, like not hitting it, that it actually sucked me magnetically. But that's what kept happening to me behind you. I would be like, oh, he missed it. And then yeah. I wouldn't miss it. I'm going to pretend as if your car's not there, except when, you know, I have to except slow down to not crash into you. <clears throat> I mean, you're going to have to catch up for that, you know? Did you feel VTAC kick in? This thing has MTAC. VTAC. McLaren in technology. <laughs> that was not good. I agree. I find that this is even harder to pass than formula. Because you don't have the same, just power. Ridiculous. What? Oh, I'm sliding. The line. Like, it's not that I'm not comfortable with like driving GT3 car, but- But you're not comfortable with driving a GT3 car. No, but like doing laps is one thing, but actually having Pushing to it. pass someone, lost connection. Oh, maybe it's oh, over. Oh, the actual server stopped. Yeah, it might be over. I mean, we're gonna finish our race regardless. 